So we're out here on the football field and I wanted to show you all at home or wherever you're watching this how we paint the football field nowadays. It's a little different. It's the robot. The robot has a little sprayer down there and it sprays. And it's on that tablet right there. And that GPS tablet. Yep, and then we also have on the other side of the field, which I'll show you when I walk over there, there's a there's a tower that communicates with this guy. And he just does it by himself. For the most part, you have to watch the paint that it doesn't clog in the tip. And we started out this morning with uh, tips that were clogging. And so we decided uh, we needed to take those tips out, flush it out again, and we got it done. But it's me and Alex here. We're, we're, we're painting the football field for Friday night lights tomorrow. And this guy will do the numbers, the hash marks, PAT line, kickoff line. So he kind of does it all by himself. But a lot of people think you know, oh, you can just set it and forget it, but it's not that easy because a couple of reasons. One, the tip can clog. Two, the thing can sometimes uh, get stuck if the grass is wet. We had some rain last night, so the ground's a little wetter. And then also, if you mow your grass and you got a bunch of clumps of grass, it can flip up into that tip. And we kind of noticed too on the back of this machine, it's got little like guards for the wheels if you can see that and that kind of sometimes can get a little clogged with uh, grass clippings so here is the tower that we have and that's the thing that's communicating with the actual robot so that's kind of cool but yeah it just paints by himself the whole time and it's uh it's a real lifesaver because what we can do is we got a fence we need to fix and things like that that are nearby. We can just uh, let him do his thing and keep an eye on him and he shouldn't uh, mess up. But as you saw earlier, we can open up the top and that's where we keep the paint. But the paint, oh, what is it, Alex? Two gallons in there? Two and a half? I think that one's like... Okay, so we got a six gallon in there right now, and uh, he won't be able to do the whole field with that, right? No, uh, two of the concentrates usually do the whole field, and they'll fill that one three times. So you use about three of those. Yeah. But it's a special kind of paint that we have to get uh, for this guy because, I guess, because it's designed to be thinner to go through the robot without clogging it or burning out the pump in the robot because it's less of a powerful pump than the big paint sprayers. Yeah, we started off today and the little filter was clogged even though we'd flushed it the last time we used it. But it, uh, it started off clogged and then the tip was clogged and so we had a little bit of a delay. And with this guy, when you have to restart him, he does it from where you, uh, that segment began correct alex that uh, works yeah so you, like if you restart this line it would go to the beginning of the yeah line. so let's say right now if he's claw it gets clogged or watching the tip and starts to clog if i hit stop on the tablet he'll stop painting and he'll stop right there but i can't just resume where he's at he's got to go back to the line that where he started at and then he'll repaint it so sometimes you might see on fields so you're a little more with it on it some more heavier white lines and that's probably because they had to restart the robot and i'll tell you and when you look down these lines i mean they you can't get any straighter and that's another good way to tell if a robot is doing your job because these lines are i mean straight this thing's communicating with the gps and with that tower and it is really uh straight and just true so if you are a fan of true lines especially on a playing field like a football field soccer field you know this little guy can paint 
uh, pretty much uh, any design, Alex, that we want. They said you can program baseball diamonds into it. Yeah, you can do baseball diamonds, soccer fields. But eventually, the guy told us that sold us the robot that we'll be able to later on this year get a update so that we can paint like characters, Alex. The first robot they brought out could actually paint bigs, like we painted bigs in the end zone, but this one will only do numbers, not letters. So I don't know if when they update software, we can paint words again. Okay, so we're getting low on paint. I think it'll make it through this line, but we can stop and then fill okay. it again. So I am going to turn this off for a bit and we're going to uh, fill our paint back up. All right, so we are Refilling the paint for the little turf tank robot. It's a special kind of paint. I think I still have a little bit of one of these. And so far, the field's coming along. He's doing the numbers right now. He ran out on this number, but he's doing the numbers. Hash marks are done. We'll end up doing the press box and stuff like that tomorrow because it takes about five hours or better to do a complete field. So it's not quick. And uh, I'm gonna show you how he does numbers here in just a minute. So here's how the robot does numbers. If you remember the old dot matrix printers, he does a little bit of a number and then he comes back, does a little bit more kind of funny <laughs> we're on the 50 yard line right now so he's he's doing his thing A little bit of paint, a little bit of the number. So yeah, and when he's done, when he's all done, with the numbers, it'll look like this. So yeah, that's how the robot works. Pretty interesting. Yeah, he's got the five almost complete. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, that's how the robot does your field.